Hey everybody, Caffeine Man here, and today I'm excited to be going over this one. Today, it's Daily Power Energy Shot. Normally I don't do energy shots, but wait till you hear what I have to say about this one. Coming right up. Hey everyone, thanks again for joining me. If it's your first time here and you want to stay informed on all things caffeine related, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday night. And I normally don't say this, not sure why, but I'm all over social media. So you can feel free to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, I'm even on LinkedIn, all at Caffeine Man 1. And feel free to share me with your friends to get the word out about Caffeine Man. Only if they like caffeine though. Well, actually, if they don't even like caffeine, we'll get them hooked. So in today's video, we're going over daily power energy shot. Normally I don't do energy shot videos, but I did do a video on five hour energy because they were pretty much the leader in the energy shot game and the stuff actually works, but it tasted horrible. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll include a link in the description box below so you can go and check it out. I give you a lot of information about it, how well it works, and how horrible it tastes. And because it tasted so bad, it literally left a bad taste in my mouth to do any other energy shot reviews. Then Daily Power contacted me and asked if I'd like to review their product. I was very hesitant because it was an energy shot, but then I decided to do my research and after I found out about the company, I was super excited to try this out. It has all natural ingredients, all healthy ingredients, which seems to be the kick I'm on nowadays. And it potentially gives you the same amount of energy as a five hour energy shot. Listen, if I can get my energy out of an energy shot that actually tastes good and lasts for five hours, I'm all about that. So they sent me a case of blue raspberry and pink lemonade to try out, and I'm gonna try those out for you today. And stay tuned to the end of the video because I have a little special offer for you guys as well. I'm first gonna go over the ingredients and the health benefits of this shot. Then I'm gonna tell you how well it works or not well, but it works well. And then I'm gonna do a taste test. Timestamps are in the description box down below. There's a lot to go over, so let's jump right into the ingredients and take a look at the box. Right off the bat, you're gonna see that it mentions green coffee bean, ginseng, monk fruit, stevia, amino acids, B vitamins, sugar-free, and caffeine. Then, when you dive deeper and take a look at the supplemental facts, it has no fat, no calories, no carbs, no sugar, no protein, and only 79 milligrams of sodium. And then it jumps right into the vitamins. This has 20% of your daily value of B1. It has 1,470% of your B6. It has 60% of your B3, which is niacin, and 100% of your folic acid. <laughs> and are you ready for this? It has 20,830% of your B12. Come on, daily power. Really, do you need that much? Then of course, we have the special energy blend. There's 1,330 milligrams of this special blend and the easy to pronounce ingredients are Panax Ginseng Extract, L-Taurine, and Phenylalanine. <laughs> That's what I like to call it, and Phenylalanine. But I know, it's Phenylalanine as well as beta alanine and caffeine. The hard to pronounce ones, I'm just gonna put on the screen above here because look at those, look at those. Are those even words? Are they, I don't even know how to begin to pronounce those things. It's like another language or something. It's just crazy. I'll go over those later. Now, if you watched any of my other videos, you know what B vitamins are good for, and they're good for energy. So I'm not gonna go over those. As for stevia, I just did an in-depth video on a product called Zevia, which uses stevia, and I give a lot of details about what stevia is. So if you wanna check that out, I'll include a link in the description box down below, and you can check out that video to find out more about stevia. So let's delve deeper into some of these ingredients you might not know about. First on the list is monk fruit. Monk fruit is a small subtropical melon that has been cultivated in the mountains of southern China for centuries. According to legend, monk fruit is named after the Buddhist monks who first cultivated the fruit over 800 years ago. Monk fruit is a sweet fruit that can be used as a healthy way to sweeten food and beverages without all the extra calories of sugar. Monk fruit is 150 to 200 times sweeter than regular sugar and is considered by the FDA to be grass, generally recognized as safe. With the rise of low carb and keto diets, monk fruit has been brought into the limelight as a healthy alternative to sugar. It won't raise your blood sugar levels and has little to no calories in its powdered and concentrate form. Additionally for sweetness, this product uses stevia and although it doesn't say it on the box, when you look at the bottle, it does actually include a little bit of sucralose as well. Next, let's go over the amino acids in this energy blend. The first one is acetylcysteine. This is a very interesting one. I had to do a lot of research on this one because it was hard to find why it was actually in here. Numerous websites had conclusive results that this has a lot of health benefits and it's actually used in Tylenol overdose as well as helping with chronic bronchitis, COPD, epilepsy, and high cholesterol. So why is it even in this drink? 
there's been insufficient data that shows it actually could help with exercise performance as well. Some early research shows that acetylcysteine might improve performance in well-trained athletes such as triathletes. And it also helps regulate glutamate levels, which may aid in focus and memory. That's a lot of stuff that it does. Acetyl-L-tyrosine. L-tyrosine is an amino acid that's known to increase dopamine levels and improve memory. It's also in clinical trials to help improve attention deficit disorder and showing some promising results. Tyrosine has also been known to help improve people's mood. Overall, it helps give you some focus and increase alertness, which is why it's good for energy drinks. Beta alanine. Beta alanine may also improve physical performance as well as delay muscle fatigue in adults. However, not all research studies have shown that beta alanine improves physical performance. Scientists are still trying to figure out why beta alanine might work better for some exercises and not others. Therefore, there have been some conclusive studies that it helps out, but more studies are needed on it. That stuff. What's that stuff? That stuff is Siberian ginseng. Why couldn't they just say Siberian ginseng? Because people like to make my job hard. It's Siberian ginseng. What is Siberian ginseng? I'll let you figure out on your own where it comes from. And it has many uses. Its primary use is to boost the immune system, prevent colds, and increase appetite. Some people use Siberian ginseng to improve athletic performance because it's been known to help with that as well. And Siberian ginseng is actually used to help in a lot of heart problems such as high blood pressure and low blood pressure, hardening of the arteries, and rheumatic heart disease. Siberian ginseng is not the same as American ginseng and shouldn't be confused with Panax ginseng, which is also in this product. Panax ginseng is known for many, many health benefits as well. Its most common use is to help improve memory, improve concentration, and working efficiency. It's also known for helping physical stamina, preventing muscle damage from exercise, and athletic endurance. Panax ginseng is also used for depression, anxiety, general fatigue, and chronic fatigue syndrome. Therefore, some people use it as a way to cope with stress and improve overall general well-being. And it's also been known to help with sexual arousal. Ah, oh, that's why. Never mind. And there's a lot more stuff to list about it, but let's move on. So how much caffeine is in this little two ounce bottle? This two ounce bottle contains 220 milligrams of caffeine. Now, before we get into the taste test, I need to let you know something. Usually I like to try these out on camera so that you can see my reaction because my reactions are so expressive. But because of the nature of these drinks, I wanted to make sure that I brought you accurate information as to how well they actually work. So I've tried these over the past week. I've had one every day to see if they work. And guess what? They do. Here are my results. On Monday, I took it around 2.30 when I was hitting that work wall that I've talked about in the past. All you nine to fivers know what I'm talking about. In 10 minutes, I wasn't tired anymore. Then at the 30 minute mark, my legs started to shake and tap. Now, that's not because I was jittery. I actually make a mental note that when I have energy, I make a mental note to tap my foot and move my leg. Why would I do such a thing? Well, I've been doing this for about 10 years because it's been proven that fidgeting can burn up to 350 calories a day. That's 30 to 40 pounds a year. And since I don't exercise very much, this is my way of getting a little bit of exercise. I also do this with my pen. Yes, I'm extremely talented, what can I say? Then this energy lasted throughout the day and on my ride home. All in all, if I had to compare this to five hour energy, this little shot right here lasted me the five hours and more. Now, I do wanna say this. I mentioned this in my five hour energy video and I'm mentioning in this one as well. There have been a lot of misconceptions about these energy shots. A lot of people say, oh, it didn't actually last five hours. And I found that those people think that they're supposed to have energy consistently for five hours, which doesn't happen. The easiest way to find the efficiency of these energy shots is a metaphor I use by charging a phone. When your phone's at 20%, you get that warning of low battery. That's when you're tired and you start yawning. Then when you have this energy shot, within 15 minutes, you've been boosted up to 100% power. Over the next five to six hours, that power slowly diminishes, as well as your energy. Now, when you're at 90%, you still feel the energy. When you get down to 75%, you might not be feeling the energy as much. But now when you're at 50% power, about two and a half hours in, you're probably not feeling the same energy you felt at 100%, but you're still not tired. And that's how you know it's working. At 50%, you're still working efficiently, you're staying focused and concentrated on your job, Whereas if you didn't have the energy shot, you'd still be yawning and tired. As that 50% continues to go down, you may not have energy, but you're not tired. 
And that's how these energy shots usually work over time. And usually it's mid-evening by the time you hit that 20% and start feeling tired again when the energy shot has worn off. Now I know this is going to be a long video so I ask you to bear with me just one more minute longer while I give you a little insight into Caffeine Man's life. Because <laughs> some people actually care about that stuff. Before Caffeine Man existed, I averaged between 200 and 600 milligrams a day. Sometimes I went over, but on average I stayed around that 400 safe mark that I talk about in my videos. Six months ago, when I started doing Caffeine Man, that average slowly crept up each week. And I would say that I actually started going from 200 to 600, much closer to 300 to 900 and higher on a regular basis. Being Caffeine Man, I know that that's not a good thing and it's not a habit that I wanted to get into. So I consistently made a conscious effort to try and span out my caffeine throughout the day just so I could stay awake because I was only getting about five to six hours of sleep a night. The reason for that is I work a full-time job during the day and YouTube became my full-time night job. That being said, this past week, drinking daily power once a day, I haven't felt this good, this efficient, this focused in the past seven months. This stuff works. Now, you guys know I love my coconut Red Bull. And you also know how much I love the energy and caffeine count in these drinks right here. When it comes to long lasting energy, healthy ingredients, I'm going for a clean, all natural, healthy energy shot called Daily Power. This stuff works. I mean, it's great for someone like me who works a full day and needs to get over that hump at the end of the day. It's also going to be great for emergency medical responders or anyone that needs to work a 10, 12, or 14 hour shift. I've had plenty of people in my comment section on a lot of my videos say that they work 12 hour shifts and they'll have a bang in the morning, have coffee throughout the day, and then have a bang at night just to get them through their shift. They're averaging between 600 and 900 milligrams of caffeine a day, if not more. But if you look at this, all you need to have is one of these in the morning to keep you going for five to six hours, then have a second one later on in the day, and the max recommended is only two a day of these. But that's gonna give you another five to six hours of energy to get you through your day. At that point, you're at 440 milligrams of caffeine, which is right at your safe limit, and then you could still sneak in a coffee or a tea if you need one in the day. But I don't think you're actually even gonna need one. That's how these work. So let's go ahead and try it out. Here's the thing, this has a sour flavor. Well, I shouldn't say sour, I should say a very tart flavor because sour sometimes gives you the impression of sour milk. But if you relate it to candy, like Sour Patch Kids, this is like 10 times more sour than a Sour Patch Kid. But what's interesting about it is as soon as it gets to be a little bit too sour, you get this nice sweetness that pulls it away. It's actually really awesome. I love it when a drink plays with your taste buds like that. So you get this really sour flavor and then you get this sweet flavor. I'm having some more. Yeah. This is like drinking liquid Sour Patch Kids. Blue Raspberry Sour Patch Kids. Now it's not the best tasting thing in the world because it is really sour, but it is so much better than the five hour energy. I can actually stand this and I actually don't mind the taste of it. I guess if I had to say a scale of one to 10, which I hate to do, the flavor is probably like a six or a seven, but it's a 10 when it comes to energy and how long it lasts. I mean, if they made a liquid concentrate of Sour Patch Kids, that's what it would taste like. If you're into sour and a little bit of sweet and you want to get some good energy to last you through the day, you're going to have to have a blue raspberry daily power. The next one is the pink lemonade. It's got a strong lemonade flavor. It's definitely got the citrus flavor. It's definitely got the lemon flavor. And it even has a hint of that pink lemonade flavor. So when they say it's pink lemonade, it is pink lemonade. But just like the blue raspberry, it does have a hint of sweetness right at the end. So that pink lemonade isn't overpowering. For someone like me who doesn't like citrus, if the blue raspberry wasn't readily available, I could take this whole bottle to get me the five to six hours of energy that I know it's gonna give me and not be bothered by the fact that it's pink lemonade. So as you can see, I'm excited to have a new energy shot that actually tastes good and gives me energy. I didn't think it was gonna be possible because I was under the impression that energy shots were concentrated energy drinks and they were always gonna have a chemical taste to them. This is all natural ingredients and tastes pretty good. And there you have it, Caffeine Man's newest favorite product. Will I be using this every day from now on? 
Probably not. Just because I have so many energy drinks I drink throughout the day and I mix them into the rotation, but this is definitely going to be in my rotation. I can see myself having this once or twice a week when I really need it. The fact that it's an energy shot takes away from the fact that I'm going to be drinking an energy drink for a certain period of time. So let's say a half hour to an hour. The shot's all at one time, but you have those days when you need it. You know what I'm talking about. And if you want to try this out, I got something special for you. It's sold as a 12 pack and it sells for $29.99, which is the same price as five hour energy on their website. Amazon's a little crazy with the five hour energy pricing. It's all over the place. But when you go to dailypowerenergy.com, I'll include a link down below. You'll save 15% off your purchase with a coupon code caffeine man. That's right. Enter coupon code caffeine man, all one word at checkout and you'll save 15% off. Don't say I never did nothing for you. Once you try them out, come back here. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about them. I want to know how you guys feel about the taste because I think they taste pretty great compared to five hour energy. And I want to know how the energy affected you. Thanks again for watching. You guys have yourself a great day or night.